Our today's activity is about implementing basic connectivity using Packet Tracer Network Simulator software. We will be performing a basic configuration on two switches. We will also be configuring some PCs and also we will be configuring the switch management interface. So as you can see this is a small network and uh, consisting of uh, two switches S1 and S2. Uh, two machines uh, PC1 is connected to switch S1 and PC2 is connected to switch S2. So uh, we're gonna configure uh, switch S1 now. So let's click on uh, switch S1 and then I'll go into the CLI mode. So if I print, so I'm gonna press enter. So I'm gonna go to the uh, uh, privilege exit mode and this is the command to enter into the privilege exit mode. Okay, so let's let's look into the uh, running config of this switch. This is the command to look into the running configuration of the switch. So the switch has, um, you know, uh, 24 Ethernet, uh, uh, fast Ethernet uh, ports and 2 uh, gigabit Ethernet ports and a VLAN uh, software uh, port. And as you can see, they are not configured. So we're going to enable the you know the configure the host name of this switch so i'm going to the global uh, configuration uh, mode configure terminal okay so now i'm in the global configuration mode and i'm going to change the name of the switch i'm going to set its name uh, by the command host name and sw1 okay so as you can see now the command has changed the prompt has changed to sw1 all right and then exit all right so now let's uh, set the you know uh, secure the uh, console uh, line by securing the console line i mean setting up the password so i'm going to go again to config T that is uh, uh, you know an abbreviation of the command configure uh, or configure terminal so I can I can also write config T so now I'm in the global configuration mode so I go to the you know the line console zero all right oh so I misspelled line this is line console zero so I'm in the in, in the console interface so I'm going to set the password, password, let's say we will set it to student, okay, and then the login command and exit. So if I exit now again, I'm going to exit from the exit mode, press enter and now in order to access the, uh, the console, the line console, it will ask me for the password and the password I set was student. All right, so here you go. I have secured the uh, the CL uh, the console uh, line. I can also secure the privileged uh, mode. So if I go to you know uh, enable configure terminal abbreviation is config t, and now I can write this command to to secure my privilege exit mode. Enable password. And the new password let's let's set it to virtual all right so now exit exit again enter and now this is the password for the for the console line which i set to student and when i press and when i write enable to enter into the privilege mode it will ask me for the password and i have set the password virtual all right so here you go so we have successfully set the both the modes, uh, you know, secure. And uh, I can also, uh, you know, set the MOTD, 
which stands for message of the day and the command for that is again I have to go to the global configuration mode and then I will write this command banner MOTD space you know in the course I will write the the command um, only authorized access okay enter so now if I exit and exit again press enter so now as you can see it says this only authorized access okay so what was the password student and I, I can save this configuration uh, you know file in the uh, startup config so all I have to do is to execute the command copy oh first I have to go to the um, you know privilege exit mode enable the password was virtual and now I have to execute this command copy running config and then startup config so it is it it asked me for the destination file I just have to press enter and now it has successfully saved uh, my current configuration in the startup conf config in the NVRAM non volatile uh, random access memory so if even if I switch off the switch now the my settings which I have configured they will not be uh, erased so they will stay all right, so we have successfully configured switch S1 and now let's configure switch S2 quickly. So go back to S2, CLI, press enter and enable, configure terminal and uh, you know, host name um, SW2 all right and then line console zero password student login exit exit so password student now enable config terminal enable password virtual exit so student enable password is virtual and I can also set the banner um, but um, you I mean it's the same it's, it's the same as we did it in for switch SW1 Oh, so I'm going to quickly copy this to um, the in, in the in the startup NVRAM file oh, running config startup config. All right, so now everything is done. So let's configure the PCs now. So we're going to go to the PC one. all right desktop and we can click on ip configuration and we can set the ip address so let's let, let's set the ip address to 192.168.1.1 um, and the subnet mask will be automatically set which is slash 24 and let's do that for pc2 also go to the desktop IP configuration set the IP address to 192.168.1.2 all right so we have also configured the both of the PCs 